Hello, welcome! I'm Ellie. Today we're gonna have a look at this. This is the Lego Friends horse training and trailer set. It is a four plus set, which means it is aimed towards an easy build. So for a younger market, these often have things in them for collectors and stuff like that too, but I'm not convinced about this one. We'll just have to build and see. So there are 148 pieces. It's $50 here in Australia. So hopefully there is something in this set that makes it worth that price range. And I know that Lego likes to have sets out there for horse craze, for the horse craze, for people who love horses, because that's always a really good market. But it's, this set just feels like a rehash of lots of other sets. But, you know, I mean, it's for a different market. So let's just see. Let's have a look and see what it offers. So first up in the first bag, there are three bags. We've got Stephanie. Stephanie is wearing uh, her horse riding outfit. We've seen this top once before I think feel free to correct me but yeah I think I think that I mean the top is pretty rare it's not one that you see all the time the rest of her outfits pretty common but I mean she's ready for horse riding that's what she needs to be for this set so that is perfect so Stephanie already for horse riding she's joined in the first bag by a black foal we've definitely seen a few foals over the years but they never stop being adorable and cute <laughs> Okay, all right, so we've got Stephanie, we've got a black fold, and we have got a carrot for the black fold. That is Stephanie's accessory for this first bag, so there we go. They are perfectly set up to hang out at the back while we, while we put this build together. Now, I have said it before, I really, really like the premise of the four plus sets. They don't require a whole heap of parts or complex building to actually get a really high quality playset put together really, really quickly. And you can either have it as a play set or as a display set. It just depends upon how you like to Lego. And yeah, this is really, I really like the concept. Though, you know, if you want something more challenging, you obviously don't go with a four plus set. But as a collector, there are often interesting things that are included in these sets, interesting play things. But I'm not sure that this set is gonna have any of those. Like I said, at the beginning, uh, this, is a, this is kind of a rehash of lots of other sets. But anyway, let's have a look. So we're building a stable. So this is interesting because, I mean, it's not that interesting, but the actual thing's called horse training and trailer. There's no mention of a stable. So, hmm. But anyway, we have a little stable. We've got a feed buckety thing over there. We've got a watery thing over on the other side. Got, this bit is going to be the stably bit, I think, by the little half, half, uh, half angled roofing. We can put the foal in here and the carrot for some feed. And on this side, we have a tap for our water, for the water trough. And now we've got a big arch. So we've got a really, really high arched entryway in the middle of the stables, which seems to be the way that Lego stables go together. We're getting a nice little peaked roof up here and ooh, an uppy rod bit there for a yellow flag. I really like the yellow flag. And I like this printed piece. It's not too cutesy actually, with the, yeah, with the horse head and the little wheat sheaths around the side. Oh, all right, and we have got a big gatey thing on the front. We've got some hay now for the horse. Hay is for horses. Can put the carrot over here on that little bit on the side. And now we're up to bag number two. And this is where we now find the next mini doll, which is Emma. Emma has got uh, this top on, and her pants also are not something we see terribly commonly. Top also not a common top, but not unique. <laughs> unique. Unique to this set. It's not new to this set. But it's not unique to this set. I was just making a new one up. Unique. It's really hard to say, so it's probably not a very good work. I cannot put this <laughs> this pitchfork in her hand. Oh, now look, she's toppled over. Right, let's put Emma out of harm's way, potentially, while we continue. So now we have got we've got a wheelbarrow with some hay in it and a, and, and a green apple. That's funny because in the Mickey Mouse farm build that I did, we had a we had a yeah a, a, a wheelbarrow, but it was also just for transporting apples too. Maybe that's what they're for. And a stack of hay with a random trophy just shoved on the top of it, because that's where we like to display our trophies on top of this bale of hay. Now we've got the ooh, now we've got a car. I suppose we need a car for, for dragging the trailer, the trailer that was mentioned in the title of this set. So we've got a nice, the, this is a junior, junior set, a four plus set. So the car is nice and quick and easy to put together with a big car mold base. We need to put this bit in here and then we can pop Emma in here. Might be a bit safer for her in here rather than trying to hold a pitchfork. And now, how does this work though for a trailer? Like, how are we gonna, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, how are we gonna attach the trailer onto this? We've got a ball joint holdery thing there on the back. 
and on the front we get this printed piece which is nice with the horseshoe on the front and the lights and she's got a windscreen it's all going together very very easily which is you know that's the whole point of a four plus set and on the back we got a nice smooth piece let's get okay good all right now we're up to bag number three and bag number three has got yet another animal in here we don't just have a foal but we have another one of the new moles of horses this is cool. I'm really enjoying these new articulated horses with their heads that go up and down and their little rubbery tails and manes. They're, this one's got a saddle, which is handy because it's, you know, it's supposed to be a riding camp kind of thing. And there are flowers included. According to the instructions, we just put, oh, hold on, there's cat hair up there. Let's, let's remove that with our brush, with our grooming brush or not with my fingers. So let's just store this brush in here temporarily. And we also have a Mm, just dropped it. A baby's bottle, which I don't think is really for feeding this horse. I think this is for the foal. So we've got a whole heap of cute play elements already included in here. Now we get the trailer. The trailer for transporting the horses. Oh, I like the use of the lattice fencing for the front part of the trailer. That's nice. So let's see. Does the horse... Wow, look. That, I mean, I'm not surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. But that horse fits so snugly in there. It's seated down beautifully on the studs on the bottom of the platform. That's so... That's really cool. And very, very simple design. I like it. And on the bottom of our trailer, we're obviously going to need some wheels. So there's our... Oh, I can't remember what that bit's called. The axle! I'm going to pretend... I, I think it's called the axle. And we put the wheels on the axle bits there. Look at that. Hey, that's super simple. <laughs> Not quite as safe because I just toppled it over. But then we plug it here into the back of the car and now we have a horse transport. Hey, that's really good. Okay, I like that design. That's very simple, very easy and very effective and very fun to play with. Now, what do we have here? This is... Oh, okay, it goes on this bit here so that it actually turns. So this is, if it's, I mean, this is Lego, so it's going to be perfectly heighted. I don't even think that's a word. It's going to be at the perfect height to just plug that in on the top of the saddle, and then the horse can be trained to go round and round and round in a circle, which is a pretty boring existence, but important for training, apparently. I know nothing about horse training. Nothing, I'm just making this up. That's cool. And, of course, we wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a horse set if we didn't have some sort of thing to jump over. So here's a jump hurdly thing with some token greenery down the bottom with some pretty flowers and a pink cube with a flower on the top. I do not know what that is supposed to be. What's it supposed to be? I have no, I don't know what is that but according to the instructions it's supposed to be put there. So it is some sort of accessory. It is whatever you want it to be. I'm going to put the pitchfork over here in this flower and we're going to put this over here in the other little holding holding jumper stub thing there. And that's cool. All right, and we can put the big horse in that big bit in the middle. Look at that! So it really is sta a stable as well as the training bit and the trailer and a car. So we've got some extra flowers, so of course I'm going to shove them in this horse. Look how pretty that is! <laughs> you can never put too many flowers on your horse. That's some dressage, that is. Okay, all right. So as a four plus set, this is very, very cute. There are lots and lots of play elements. The two horses are really, really nice. The, having two mini dolls is also really good. I'm not so sure about the price point, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about this one, but I do think it's cute. And there is a lot of fun stuff to do in it. So I don't know, you can choose yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think of this set, if this is something that you want for your collection. And yeah, I'll be back with another video really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.